Okay, so in this video on windserve2.com, um, we are actually going to look at the offline domain join feature. Uh, this is not done with the PowerShell utility. Uh, this is actually done with the djoin.exe command. And the reason why we're taking a look at this is because so far, if you followed along with us, you've seen us create a server, create a small uh, Active Directory infrastructure here install the IIS and application roles on a secondary server in the environment and install the WSUS framework on that server uh, WSUS being a patch deployment uh, tool so what good does a patch deployment tool do us if we don't have any systems to patch so as you can see here we have our Active Directory uh, domain controller that we've been working on here and that is in the windserve toots.wst domain and then we have a basic Windows 7 32-bit operating system as you can see it's just uh, the computer name is workstation and it is in fact in a work group so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and we're gonna take a look again using djoin.exe to pre-seat a computer into Active Directory and then we will actually um, join this uh, workstation to the domain offline so there will be no connection to the network so if you know uh, whenever you create a computer in Active Directory uh, if you don't specify an OU um, the computer is just created in the computers organizational unit so we're gonna start we're gonna jump right in here and we're going to be using the djoin.exe and when you use djoin you need to switch to the Windows System 32 directory so I'm gonna do that now helps if I go to Windows first okay so now we're there and I'm just gonna walk you through just the the basic commands that we need to create this text file that we'll need to export so the djoin command is djoin and the first switch when you're creating um, a computer to be joined to Active Directory is provision got that then the second switch is the domain that you're going to join this computer to and in this case we're using win serve toots dot wst because that is our domain now we need to decide what we would like our machine name to be so for my machine I would like to call it win 7 because it's a win 7 client and we'll call it 32 just because it's a 32-bit system this would be whatever your naming convention would be now we're going to use the switch save file this save file is exactly uh, what it sounds like it is the location where this file will be saved so in our case well, let's make sure we have a CD join directory here and yep, I have a djoin directory that we're going to be using here. I'll just get rid of this file there. And so we're going to call our C djoin, that's the directory, and win732.txt. So this is about the uh, extent of it here. So provision is that's the switch that you're going to create a new computer in Active Directory this is the domain name whatever your donate domain name will be this is the machine name whatever you would like your machine name to be and then this is the this destination where your file would would be stored So we're gonna execute this okay and you see that that runs very quickly so the result is successfully provisioned win 732 in the domain when serve toots.wst provisioning data was saved successfully to C djoin win732.txt okay so we're going to look here and and look in our get rid of this here uh, look in our C djoin folder and as you can see here we have a win732.txt now 
you saw before we didn't have any computers in the uh, organizational unit labeled appropriately computers and let me just hit F5 and refresh and look now you see that we have win 732 so this was done automatically so now we've done this we've, we've executed this on the server side I'm gonna take this file here that we created and I'm gonna copy it uh, now for the purpose of this demo we do have network connectivity right now I will disable that just to kind of prove to you that we are uh, are going to do an offline domain join okay I'm going to paste that there so this is just a share I have close that out and close that now we're going to come over to our workstation again so you can see here it's workstation is the computer name the work group is a work group. I'm going to close that out there. And I'm going to go out to the share here. So this is the file that we'll be using. And I'm going to put that, I'm going to just grab this whole, whole folder there and go to my computer and paste it and yep we're just going to overwrite the current djoin file that I have okay so now I have this current djoin folder let's see this is from a previous example there and what we're going to do is we are going to um, one there is one thing to note you do have to run this djoin uh, with elevated privileges so the easiest way if you would like to get to a command prompt uh, and run it as an administrator just type command prompt uh, in the run bar there the little search bar and you can right click and run as administrator yep we're going to allow making changes so now you can see this actually will take us right into the C Windows System 32 instead of like a C users and then username as you know you've been um, you are executing the command shell with the escalated level of privilege all right, so we do have these two files on our local system now. Obviously, you could send them via CD-ROM, though. Um, you can see this file is very, very small, a thumb drive, or it, I mean, it'll even fit on a floppy. So, but what we're going to do to prove to you that this is an offline domain join, we're going to go into our network and sharing center, and I'm actually just going to disable this. So you can see here, disable. Okay, so now we have no connection to the network. Now from this escalated um, command prompt window, I'm just going to run through this command again. Now this time, we're going to be using djoin again. And we are going to use the switch request odj, offline domain join. Then we're going to point to our load file with the switch load file and in this case our load file is in C D join and our load file is called win 732.txt and now we need to tell it where the windows path is so aptly name the switch is windows path okay oh, and we need to and the Windows path on a Windows 7 machine is defaultly C Windows. And then we are need to tell this command that it, we are using the local OS. We are changing the local OS. So this is the minimum required um, switches for this command to execute. So we're going to hit execute. Okay. So as you can see, it happened very quickly. It says the offline domain join request completed successfully. A re reboot is required for changes to be applied. So I want you to take a look at something because I don't want you to be confused. So we went through, we originally had a computer named workstation and it was in a work group. Now you can see that the computer name is win732 in the computer domain um, or the Active Directory domain winserve2.wst. It does still say that it's a work group down here. This will not change until after you reboot. So we are going to quickly reboot and we will need to bring the network back up because it will actually go and join the network the first time it's been booted uh, on the network. So we're going to 
change the adapter settings because we want to re-enable re -enable this. Just going to let this enable. Okay, so that finished there. And now we are going to quickly reboot this system here. I'm going to exit out of here. We're going to reboot. Just bear with me for a moment while this takes place. Okay, so we see the system coming up here. We'll have our login prompt in just a moment. It will take a little bit longer because when you add a workstation to the domain, um, it has to apply all the group policy objects on the system. So just as a side note, you want to make sure that your group policy is effectively designed. All right, so we're going to send a control alt delete there we're gonna switch users because we are not logging into the local machine other user here and now you can see log on to winserve toots so that's what I'm gonna do here my domain account and let's log on again this will take just a second Okay, so now you see we have again our, our machine here and we're going to right click, select properties, and look, now we have domain winservetoots.net. So I hope this has been an informative uh, video for you. Hopefully if you do a lot of workstation provisioning and you don't have access to uh, the network when you're doing that provisioning, this will be a handy tool. Thank you very much for joining us and please do join us next time. We will be using group policy to have this server update its Windows installation source, um, its Windows update source, pardon me, from that WSUS server that we installed on our network. So please join us then.